ever hear that fat and cholesterol aren't your friend? That you should try to limit these things in your diet as much as possible? Well, here's another angle to consider. If the brain itself is 60% fat, could eliminating fat and cholesterol from your diet do more harm than good? Especially when it comes to optimizing your brain? Here, Dr. Daniel Amen shares a different way to look at cholesterol and fat, and the role each one plays in keeping the brain healthy. And another really important thing, and thing that'll surprise most people, because we've sort of made cholesterol the enemy. Uh, oh, you don't want a high cholesterol level? Well, all your sex hormones are made from cholesterol. And hmm. so if your cholesterol is high and your doctor puts you on a statin and lowers them, under 160 has been associated with depression, aggression, and suicide. And if you add stress in there, well, how do you make stress hormones like cortisol? They come from cholesterol. So if you have low cholesterol levels and you're stressed, you have no material left over to make estrogen, progesterone, or testosterone. And so learning how to manage your cholesterol, and for me it means we should be eating fat-based diets. I'm a total fan of uh, healthy fats. Salmon, avocados, nuts, green leafy vegetables, healthy oils like coconut oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, macadamia nut oil. Um, your brain is 60% fat. So the solid weight of your brain is mostly fat. It's like you have this, this ball of fat between your ears. Um, you know, 30 years ago, the dietary recommendations changed to low fat diets. Well, what did they replace right. the fat with? Sugar. And, right. and, and you see, if you look at a map of the United States in 1982, not one state had more than 15% of people obese. Now every single state, more than 15% of people are obese. It was the biggest scam in the history, the health history of our country, that fat was not the problem. Sugar is the problem. And um, if you have a carbohydrate-based diet, you have four times the risk of Alzheimer's disease. People who have fat-based diets, 42% less risk than the general population of getting Alzheimer's disease. If you have a protein-based diet, 21% less risk. That's the right diet. If you want to keep your brain and your body lean and young and smart, uh, you got to get rid of the simple carbohydrates. I call them the high glycemic, low fiber carbohydrates. So, uh, and it's not hard. You just have to be focused on it, but you'll think better, you'll feel better, your hormones will be better. There are lots of different ways to take care of your brain and promote brain change, and some might surprise you. This week, Dr. Daniel Amen will join us to talk about even more ways to keep your brain healthy. During the webinar, he'll get into hormones and their effect on the brain, and he'll share ways to balance your brain for optimal health. You can watch the webinar for free when it's broadcast. Just click the link below to sign up. <laughs>